Hey guys, for this let me know we have a very interesting report from Business Insider, which is a good website. They are basically saying that they have been talking to a guy, you know, some insider guy uh, that has been right before. It seems like this guy have been using a prototype of the next generation iPhone, iPhone 5. So, was the iPhone 5 real? Um, that's a very, very good question, but it seems like it. But also we should obviously not forget that obviously Apple is experimenting with stuff obviously they're trying new things all the time you always need to try new stuff out just because you try new things doesn't mean that you are gonna use it uh, but it seems like these things that we would have like a thinner design more paper design uh, like a bigger home button and so you can do like gestures on that one maybe and a bigger four inch screen could have been the real deal and also that they're experimenting uh, with this uh, flatter form factor but the four inch screen uh, very very interesting but it seems like Steve Jobs didn't like that you know he, he wanted the small screen and, and he didn't like the fragmentation it would do but now when Steve Jobs not alive uh, is that gonna change? No, I know that sounds horrible. I know, I know, I know. We all love Steve Jobs, but we all love big screens as well. And uh, could it have been Steve Jobs that didn't like this? But uh, I mean, Apple always needs to adjust themselves. If they want to stay on top, they always need to see what competition is doing. The competition now is pushing really hard on bringing up bigger screens and thinner uh, things. Apple needs to do something. Apple really needs to do something. And uh, I think that we're gonna see a new next year, a four inch screen or something like that on an iPhone, thinner design and all of that. It's gonna look like a Galaxy S2 or maybe like a Galaxy S3. Everyone's gonna think it's revolutionary because it's from Apple. It's a four inch screen, it's magical. Uh, but uh, I'm actually really interested in this and uh, this new iPhone 5. Uh, that they didn't launch it. Maybe they've had issues. Maybe they couldn't design it, or maybe they, you know, had some problems, you know, with their factories in China or Brazil. We don't know. But uh, yeah, obviously it's a report. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a new redesigned iPhone next year. Now. I do think that we're gonna see that I mean the next iPhone is gonna be called iPhone 5 because it would just be weird if it would be called iPhone 4G I think obviously they can go ahead and do so but I think that iPhone 5 that's gonna sell more devices than an iPhone 4G uh, iPhone 4G would also probably be a good name uh, worst name probably would be the iPhone 6 but uh, they would could, could you know still be able to pull that off but it sounds weird to go from iPhone 4 to iPhone 4s to iPhone 6 seems like we need that iPhone 5 so I mean I trusted Apple I thought that they were gonna surprise us with something insane uh, and they didn't but I'm pretty sure that uh, they're gonna try to catch up next year and uh, be a little bit before everyone else because now they they are a little bit behind uh, with this uh, you know chocolate cake that uh, the iPhone looks like. I was disappointed, a lot of other people were disappointed. Uh, we want to see Apple in the front. They aren't in the front at the moment. And I do know that all the Apple fan was going to say next year that Apple did it right this time. But um, yeah, we're probably going to have tons of issues with iOS 6 and you know, just think about the battery. It's going to be even worse. Uh, than it is right now and I was five. No, I, I, I think Apple's gonna fix that battery issues, hopefully. Uh, but I like this. If, if it's gonna come out an iPhone 5 next year with a bigger screen, I'm definitely gonna buy it. See you guys. Bye-bye.